Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry, I was a little bit late. I was just getting some things together because, um, you know, obviously they haven't been around for a while, Shani and Rev, and um, I forgot which videos I watched and which videos I didn't. I know there was a couple ones I didn't, but I did want to finish up uh, showing some of these uh, receipts with um, not only DMs, but... Um, um, audio uh, messages, so I figure we can check those out. Those will be fun. So, guys, if you're new here, welcome to the crib. Please uh, like and subscribe. Um, you know, we talk about various topics around here, uh, but a lot our big favorite of the cows is Shannon and Rev, just because of the awful, awful, awful things that they have done, not only to themselves but to you know their um, Shannon's kids and. The racist stuff they said to people, and just overall how disgusting they are. And the fact that they just don't, Rev in particular, just can't figure out how to get a job. And as you'll see in some of these messages that he was sending to Ashley, that he doesn't understand any type of authority. You know, he doesn't understand that you have to, like, do what a manager says. Or, like, if they, if they say, here, it's time for, you know, to go on and register, he doesn't get that. Or, you have to clean this up. But he doesn't understand. He doesn't really understand much. Like, I'm surprised he was able to actually attend school or do anything like that. Because if he, if he doesn't know that you have to do what they say and then you get paid at the end of the week, so it's kind of all worth it... You know, it's it's so funny. It's like he he doesn't know what it's like to be an underling, but you know that's how you have to make it in this world. If you don't want it, uh, be pathetic and e-bag all day, you have to uh, be pathetic and work for somebody. But then if you do that, eventually you'll be manager or assistant manager, and then you do the same thing to someone else, and so on and so forth. But here, guys, let's uh. I think I didn't see the crackers one, so we'll start with that, and then we will go into, I guess, stuff like this. I'll show you some of these messages, because, okay, so basically, after, uh, hi, uh, I'm a homewrecker, <laughs> yeah, um, after, um, I guess after this all went down, they were still talking for a little bit, right? I mean, actually, if I just want to like, get that right. Because um, she asked them about the Draven stuff. And I, I, I showed a, uh, I showed a message last night uh, when I was on Omni's channel on Rumble. But uh, this one, it was weird. Projection. Oh, so this is about why he was saying my name. So, to me, this looks like... This looks like Shani doesn't trust him. You know, and so when you guys, if you watch their videos or, or when they come back and pretend like, oh, their, their relationship is stronger than ever, you know that's BS because she, you know, had never, you know, met up. I don't know. There's evidence he did, though. He denies it. <clears throat> I think he's, um, I think he's on a couple of sites. And, and that's the thing, Rev. You can't blame anybody else that you signed up for for websites or dating apps or whatever the hell you're doing. I mean, I don't know why you're doing it, but you're definitely doing it. I mean, it's I have I don't know anybody that signed you up for anything like that. But here, let's let's watch uh, something, and then we'll uh, then we'll get into some of these, and then we'll get into some of those videos. But guys, thank you for hanging out. And we'll watch this, and then in between this, I'll, I'll show some of that stuff. But I'm going to get it all together while we're watching. That Ritz cracker box is really good at holding up the phone. It works well. Yes, it does. You're surviving on Ritz crackers and cheese and yogurt. No. And strawberry preserves. Ritz crackers, cheese, and yogurt. And strawberry preserves. That's yeah. what we're surviving on. And strawberry preserves, man. I know. Everything. But you know what? Like, maybe I'll just show some some of these videos because I really want to get into these. Like I said, they're, they're, there's not much, but I feel like they give they give context to everything that everyone was like, being uh, accused of. So I guess I'm gonna work backwards instead of going into the messages. I want to go into these. Uh, 
videos first. Can't message you on. Uh... No, yeah, I, I think you guys can hear that, right? Let's go back into there. I can't message you on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can't message you on. Uh, you guys can hear that, right? Reason, so I'll I'll do it here. Uh, we would gladly give you a shout out, but are you sure you want it? Okay, there's there's very bad stuff that comes from people knowing who like and support us and have done stuff like that. So before we do that, get back to me uh, with you're sure you want that because I'm telling you, you're going to have these assholes coming at you. Excuse my language, but uh, think about that before you 100% want it. Okay, God bless you and thank you for everything. And and when he says God bless, you, you know, you, you know what he's talking about. He's like, I hope you guys would uh, bless me with God's uh, lovingly grace. <laughs> I swear, everything with him is a fucking scheme. It really makes me sick, and it really makes me sick. You know, it's like if you're not Christian or Catholic or Jewish or just just fill in a religion and put that there, they would use that. It, it really, it, it does not matter. What's up, on, on, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Rev has a problem <laughs> pronouncing the name, but I get that. But also, he's not really cultured. What's up, on, on, okay, I uh, got uh, uh, How do you say your name? Is it Ansia? The J is a Y? Hmm. I think I'm right. Ansia, yeah. Thank you for oh, uh, hey, just the seven her. bucks. You really... You really helped me out a lot, and I appreciate it. So uh, I'm going live. I'll I'll see you. Bye. Uh, peace. Oh, so he would tell her when he'd be going live. And you know what? I have a question. Why? Why is it that everybody that goes over there, if they just go over there to be a viewer, or they they just go over there to talk to them, why is it usually like ninety? I'll give them ninety percent of the time, some sort of problem happens. You could, can you really blame that on other channels? Like for real, I can't. I, I can't blame that on another channel. H how is how is another channel have anything to do with what goes down between messages and private conversations between other people? If shit goes down, that's your fault, Rev and Shandy. That is your guys' fault. You know, you were getting what you wanted, the money, and you felt like, hey, well, it doesn't matter now. It's not like they can claw it back or anything. Hey, I'm really. All right, hold on. Let me just put this up. Hey, I'm really sorry to hear about your mom and dad are at the hospital. I'm so sorry. Um, prayers for them. Um okay, so this is this is when um, this is when uh, you know Christmas time. I mean, really, this just sucks. And and like and I told Ashley that that this just sucks. You know. Uh, I've, I've, I've had family members and other people that have lost, uh, their parents around Thanksgiving, Christmas, a holiday, and then every time they, that holiday comes up, it's a constant reminder. So, it definitely sucks a lot extra, and I don't know if this is the one where, oh, yeah, uh, about how Rev kept on, like, well, we need money, <laughs> Oh, right here. Can we have some money for some food? We're broke for the month. And again, how are they so broke? It's just them two. It's them two. They don't pay rent. They don't pay electric. The only thing that they have to pay for is Delta 8. That is it. They get. They have a food pantry. The uncle gives them food. What are they so fucking broke for? You know what I mean? They don't have any kids to take care of. Uh, okay, uh, I'm sure the, uh, the the cat food that they get is probably given to them by food pantry because they do that as well for, for pets as well as people. So if they're getting pasta and rice and stuff, cat food, to me, allegedly, the only thing that they're spending their money on is, is Delta 8. Um, you're so, uh, you're very, you're uh, uh, so sweet, and I want to thank you for every penny. You know, we just, we're in a tough spot. Um, I, like I said, I told you I had a job and, and, and that shit fell through because the management there was really horrible. But <laughs> I, I want to know what the hell does that mean? What does that mean? 
well, uh, I had a job, but the, uh, uh, uh management there, uh, was, uh, horrible. Yeah, okay. Well, at least they weren't beating you like Shanny. <laughs> the management there was horrible. Rev, what the hell would you know about management? You never had a job in your, in your damn life. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to find something fast, and, um get back on the ball and making money, but I, I appreciate you. You're very kind. God bless you. Well, you know what? Right there. Right there. Right there, Ashley, would have been your, cl your, little, your clue that uh, that's what Rev was looking for. You know? He, he, what did he just say? He said he wanted to get on the ball and find something fast. You know? It was always about money. You know, so people could say whatever they want, and Rev could try to make excuses. But to me, he got caught. He got caught talking to a female. He's talking to other females. He's on dating sites, and he will do and say anything to get money. I mean, man, that Delta Eight must be really good, or, 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 or that gas station crocodile, where the hell he's doing. But uh, here, let me go back. I'm gonna switch back and forth. But go back to that video about the crackers and then we'll watch more of those because those are fun but guys thanks for uh being here thanks for hanging out uh, make sure you like that's a combo that is a combo cheddar cheese ritz crackers yogurt strawberry preserves and ice cream there you go that that's that that we're eating like we're 90. That's a very interesting combination of uh, food goods. Well, you got protein, uh, the, you know, good probiotics for the yogurt, yeah. and then calcium. Most, most milk products have vitamin A and C in them added additionally into it. And Ritz crackers got some fiber and, uh, other different things and then the strawberry preserves are strawberries vitamin c and i think lycopenes are in strawberries too i think lycopene is what makes the vegetables red yeah no but i have to, i have to apologize uh to everybody i want to apologize and to you too because uh I'm, I'm finding it very hard to have clear and concise and normal um, thought patterns right now. I can't explain that, but I don't feel exactly uh, okay. So I want to I want to apologize if I seem weird right now because I kind of am. Uh, it's okay. I've been dealing with that too. Like I've been dissociating a lot lately. Yeah, I, I've been doing that I've too. I've noticed. I've noticed. Anyway. But that's not the purpose of this video. No, it's not. Uh, just give me a minute. All right. Or, Jay, you can speak if you want to. Go ahead. Well, I mean, guys. Yeah, there needs to be. Let's. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Yeah. But guys, you really need to start thinking for yourselves. Just, and if it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. You know, some Christians are losing their fucking mind because it's like, she's talking about all Christians. No, I'm talking about the fallen church. No, they're not losing their minds. They're, right. they're, they're kind about it, as a matter of fact, okay? Well, I mean... It's, it, 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 it's when you hear something like Shani said about the church, okay? Like she said, if it doesn't apply to you and your church, you're fine. Because there's always a remnant of believers that stay on the right path always through history. And that's why Christianity still exists. Okay. What Shani was preaching on was literally this segment of the church that is replacing Christ 
with this man. That's happening. Okay. That is happening. Now, there are, of course, still great men of God out there. Of course, there's going to be. It's not prima facie everything. But that's rare in my personal experience. Sure, but that. they're out there, though. They are. It's rare. You're the only person. Mm -mm. Well, I could say I my... Know, but yeah. you're not perfect either. No. You have your faults and your flaws and hey. your weaknesses like yep. everyone else. Uh-huh. I can say and that. And that's not demasculating him. That's just saying the obvious in life. Same, like, I have flaws, weaknesses. And warts. Don't forget the warts, folks. <laughs> Sorry, well, well, I was just listening to that bullshit dribble. Do you hear that? I'm not demasculating him. I'm just saying he's a loser. I, 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 Shani, I get you. I know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, and I agree. He is a loser. Why? Why does every time... Shannon needs to come on, call him a loser in so many ways, indirectly, and, and then Rev has to be like, ah, oh, yeah, I need to, ah, uh, ah, uh, apologize because, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, and see, I'm doing the next thing again, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You guys, you look what you did this to me, Rev. You did that to yourself. Actually, probably Shannon did that to you between beating you in the head and uh, when you had to, when you had to withdraw from alcohol. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. I'm really sorry to hear about. Okay, hold on. Let me just get to another one of these. Yeah. Wow. Like. Oh, where did that go? Yeah. Wow. Like. All right. Sorry, about that folks. Yeah. Damn Instagram messages. <laughs> Um, but have you all noticed that though? Have you noticed that that's, that's what, um, you know, she makes fun of him and then he has to constantly apologize to her. And because they have that type of relationship, every time that there is a fight or Rev did feel a connection with some, someone, he'll blow up and call her a bunch of names, tell her what he actually really feels inside. And my advice to them, and again, I'm no therapist, don't claim to be, but my best advice to that would be, like, tell the truth from, from the start. Don't hold it back, because when you hold it back, it's going to explode out of you, because that's how you really feel. Those explosions, those Freudian slips, are how you really feel about each other, Rev and Shandy. Both of you. You guys hate each other. And Rev, you know she's using you for a place to stay. I mean, fuck, you said that. But here, let's listen to another one. So, uh... Yeah, so this is where she's saying about her mom was sent to the hospital. Just have to wear my poker face in front of my kids, not cry. I mean, she's being pretty honest uh, with him. You know, trying to see if there was any humanity in these people at all, which, spoiler, there's not. Yeah, wow. Like, that, uh. Oh. That living in Norway deal, uh, and having a factory job for $4,500 a month, uh. That's like serious sign me up type stuff. Right there. So Rev, Rev, when you're watching this later, hey Rev, you, why don't you come on back and answer for that? I know you don't want to actually talk to me and have a debate. I don't know why, you know? I mean, if I told you, the, the kid gloves would definitely be off. I'm coming at you. <laughs> I'm coming at you. Because my biggest thing is, why do you keep calling a kid that's not your kid your son? You didn't marry Shanny. You didn't adopt those kids. They're not your kids. And, you know, to even even being a step-parent, you could be a father. So, you know, it's not like I'm saying a uh, step-parent can't be a father. I'm saying you never were a father to them. Where did you ever take them out? Just you and them. Besides being when, when Shanny was around. Because I saw those videos when you were taking... Uh, the, the two boys and Shani out to eat. What'd you do? You made them feel like shit because they wanted to play some arcade games and you made sure that they only got like one entree. Like, you were being such as like like a piece of trash and the fact that like people are around seeing you and Shani wearing these ridiculous outfits. Like, like really, like who do you guys think you were? Oh, I'm eager beaver pleaser. <laughs> <laughs> eager beaver pleaser. And again, guys, this is this is why this is this is that is such a low cow trait.
And that's what, what I'm going to be going into in future streams. Anybody who can't have an identity for themselves is a little cow. What I mean is how Jason was, well, I'm Jason Avocados. I'm Johnny Silverhand. I am uh, the guy from Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm anything else but just Rev. At least when he was Revelation News or Rev, then that was that was technically his own identity, right? But having to take forms of other people, it's really weird. And, you know, a lot of people do it, and they keep doing it, and they don't realize that just stealing somebody else's identity and poorly uh, mimicking them, is that's, it's just not a good look. But anyway, uh, Rev, right here is when, what Shani was talking about when she said that you wanted to go to Norway. You know, just uh, rewind, it, rewind it up a little bit. Because you heard 4500 a month for that job. And, Rev, just so you know, you would never, never be able to do a job like that. That's back-breaking work to get that type of money. I mean, you know, uh, for what I think what she's talking about. I mean, shit, you could be a landscaper and get $100 a day. But who wants to be a landscaper? That's also back-breaking work. Serious sign-me-up type stuff. Like that, that sounds really, really good. But yeah, God bless you. And thank you for everything you've done for us. And, um, oh man, life is crazy, but man, that, yeah, you, you're making me think about Norway. Thank you. That's again, <coughs> Rev, do you, like, again, I'm not trying to pick. <laughs> I mean, I am, you know, we're all little gossip hounds around here, but how. Do you understand how this could come off as to someone, to a girlfriend that might look at your messages and listen to that and be like, oh, this is, like, especially right here, right here. Think about Norway. Thank you. That's interesting. Yeah, like, I really am thinking about Norway. And like to Shady, she's like, well, what else are you thinking about? Just the job or another person? Because there's jobs all over the world. You don't have to go, you know, across the country to find a job. You know, you can just look in the... Uh, is there still one ads? I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm old, so I, I remember when there used to be one ads of, you know, jobs out there and stuff. But there's jobs online. I'm sure he's qualified for some sort of gas station attendant. And, okay. So... All right, so that was this one, right? Yeah, wow, like, yeah, wow, ha. Huh. Hey, what's up? Okay. All right, so I'll do another one, and I'll go back to that other video. Try to split them back and forth, folks. But again, if, Rev, can you show me, show me on the doll <laughs> where you weren't reciprocating messages? You know, you want to say someone is, is is someone's forcing stuff on you, this and that, this and that, and they're 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 just they can't stop talking to you, right? They just can't. My God, they must have no life, right? But when you have this, and again, right, this ain't oh, someone just ran, and this is the receipts. Like, there's more to it. It's more nuanced than that, dude. It's showing that you were reciprocating. Now, Shani's in a couple of these, but more you than Shani, giving out hearts. Now, again, uh, you could have been saying, like, how you said um, in your videos that the only reason why you were nice to her or anyone is because you wanted that, you know, you wanted those prayers. But, uh, yeah, let's watch, let's listen to this one, folks. Hey, what's up? Okay, so. Okay. Uh, I want, I just want to make something really clear to you. Okay. It, you know, it's very flattering. I got your messages. Okay. And, and it's very flattering. She, you know that Shani is always right here with me when I talk to you. I, you. You know that. Except for when you were talking to her at the Burger King. But yes, besides that. Because, Rev, let's not forget the Burger King. And you know what, folks? I'm telling you. I... I, maybe Rev, you know, deleted that channel because he couldn't answer that. That is a thing. And if, if they, when they do come back, because I know they do, or they will, because they do all the time, I want 
well, I can't, I can't tell no one to do, but I hope people ask him, Hey, Rev, by the way, were you talking to somebody when you were working at Burger King? When you weren't supposed to, when you were actually supposed to be working because you guys are in so desperate need of money to feed that what's eating Gilbert great 600-pound six, whale? So all I can say to you is it, it to let, please just understand that when I say I love my wife, I mean I love my wife. Oh. Actually. I, that, I really mean it. That's so if that's the case, then you know that advances like that would not only be um, warrantless and stupid on your part, but it, it's also uh, not Christian behavior to, to, be, to be engaging in stuff like that. So um, it's very flattering. Okay. Well, it's very flattering. Ha ha ha. Okay, so here, let's go back to that video, and then we'll go back there. Like I said, a little, little back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. He understands what I'm saying, though. Yes, I do. Other people, they take what I'm saying and they twist it to some kind of weird shit. Always try to make me seem like I'm doing bad. No, I'm not. I'm just no. being honest. Okay. And I agree with you. You are just being honest. Rev is a lazy piece of crap. Yo, I, I'm not refuting that. Anyone else in the chats that refuting that? No. We all agree with that. Rev is lazy. Rev stinks. He doesn't bathe like you, Shani. But he is wiping your butt, which I don't... Why, why do you make him do that? Like, seriously, I'd just be like, just jump... No, not jump. Slowly get into the tug because you don't want to break it. Like seriously, for for real, I would ref. Like I don't know how how you deal with that. That is nasty. But besides that, I do agree with you in this statement. Rev is a piece of crap. He's lazy. That's what you're saying. Maybe your BPD makes you think you're not talking down to him, but you are. And I know why you talk down to him, Shani, because that's your way of controlling this riffraff here. I'm sorry you cannot take blunt force honesty. I gotta get a cup. Blunt force honesty. I have to be blunt. I have to be honest. And I have to be assertive. Assertive. Well, unless you want Shannon to go on a haywire you know, black out and go crazy. No, I'm being, I'm doing what my therapists have instructed me to do. So, but if it doesn't apply to you, don't take offense. Um, if it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply. Uh, Yo, I bet you every time Rev hears that noise, the, the, he flinches. I bet. <laughs> Not everyone's the same. You know, God, the creator, he, he absolutely loves variety. You can see it in snowflakes. No snowflake is the same ever, ever. ever. <laughs> she can't reach. <laughs> God loves variety. Or you could, you could even... Ah, uh, uh, McSleeves, you think that that's what it's about? It's a power move? Oh, I mean, yeah, that is a serious power move, but, like, on both sides. <laughs> but you know what? When he doesn't want to touch her, when he's got to be back there, like, I, I, I don't know. Let's just say, I, I hope he was that generous with his mother when his mother was, like, on her deathbed. You know, that was Shanny. Because to me, there's nothing wrong with, with Shanny. She might have some mental... She has, definitely has mental illness. And she has some warts on her face and on her chest from sleeping with the dad machine next to her. She told me that in early 2020. Or 2019. I think it was 2020. And now it's cancer marks. Like, get the hell out of here. But besides being overweight... And having some like water weight and stuff like that, and not eating right, and not taking vitamins. What is wrong with her? 
You know, that's why I like those G-Men videos, because he'll tell you, Shani can be quick when she wants to be. And I, I believe that, because I've seen that, those videos where she's running around outside of the uh, um, one of those fast food restaurants. Go to the periodic table and see how many elements there are. He loves variety. How, how people don't look the same. They all look different. There's always a difference in them. You know what I mean? He wanted variety, hence creator, with his creations. And and creator, that's a that's a big word. That means someone enjoys. That's a big word. <laughs> that's she can't reach. The fiery nature hey, Von, what's up? Create. Uh, but there's this other guy that's in this good evil dynamic and 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 his name is satan mm -hmm. that's that you guy, shani that guy is pretty worshipped <laughs> now by a lot of people are you ready uh i don't know what does that mean are you ready for what like it's like Shani just blabs on, and you know what? I feel like this is like she's filming him, like this is her pet project. And then she sits down, and he sits down, and she's like, "Are you ready?" Ah, I don't know. Yeah, because you know, again, just like he's been saying for the past few years, he didn't want to make a lot of live streams. That's why a lot of live streams were taken down, hence why a lot of archive channels started popping up, because they would make videos, uh, lots of videos, they'd have fights, they delete them. And, and then Brett would say the same thing, he didn't want to make the video in the first place. And then there was times he did want to make the video, and try to, like, I guess, um, explain a few things, or get something off his chest, or, or, or just explain the dynamics of what's going on and either he would look at a chat he would look at a message and it was just you know during um not derange he it would just screw up his his thought process you know what i'm saying and i used to say rev just make the video and don't even look at the chat if it's going to you know sidestep you okay we got some news for you all right uh, back in 2016, I took up for Donald Trump big time because at the time, you guys notice where he's looking, uh, that's to make sure that he says the words correctly. I mean, we make jokes about, you know, <laughs> Shani being slappy, but they're, that doesn't mean that they're not real. This woman has physically attacked him. There's many videos on it. Uh, she whipped him. She said it was with a sexual thing with a fetish whip. Uh, once again, good, you know, good uh, Christian there. <laughs> but uh, it still hurt him. And if you look at that 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 police that where she got arrested, she's like a linebacker. Her back is wide. She can hurt him bad. Rev is a small, small dude. He's a small guy. So just keep that in mind every time you see him looking over. Because that's what he does. I think he has PTSD. I think he... And he has Stockholm. He doesn't... He's scared to death to leave her. I really feel like she scares him. Uh, there... Uh, we could just say that you would... I, I was what you would call a... Truther, and uh, the media that I consumed was strictly Infowars. So when I heard Alex really come out for this guy, Donald Trump, he came out very strong for him and said, I have it on authority. Yeah, I hope that's better. I, I lowered the gain because sometimes, sometimes the gain uh, makes the uh, the mic sound really loud, and then sometimes the mic's closer to me. Because usually I have to move the microphone so I can see the second monitor. So yeah, uh, but thanks for letting me know. I don't want to be like too loud compared to Rams. Ha ha ha.
But yeah, thanks. I, I try to like balance it out. Of people that know this guy, that he's been a conservative his whole life. Um, he rubbed elbows with with the with the liberals and stuff like that. But he's he's a conservative at at heart, and he's a populist, and he really hates the way this country's going with Obama, and it looks like he's going to run for president. And then he had him on the show. I was sold a billion percent when I heard stuff like, well, what about what he said on, uh, access Hollywood? Uh, that doesn't sound Christian. How about these accusations that he had something to do with Epstein, which he's all over the internet, hmm. arm in arm with the guy. Yeah, and you know, and as everyone knows, Shani, she she was almost on the island. <laughs> Checking women out with him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. According to Donald, he was a good guy that likes women just like I do. Some of them ex exceptionally young. You see all this weirdness with Ivanka. You have this strange relationship with his daughter. Ugh. That makes you go, wow, that's real weird. They used to, when she was 14, they used to take pictures of them in bed together. Hmm. <laughs> and then she do lap dances on her daddy's lap. His face. During oh. parties oh. openly. Now, you see pictures of him with his arms wrapped around her tightly. Okay, okay. All right, we'll, we'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> Danny, you... There really only is one Shani, right? Especially when it comes to that weird shit. Hey, what's up? Okay, so... You need to understand that I am married and... Uh, did I just see... I don't think... You Sorry. need to understand that I am married... Sorry, folks. I just want to make sure that I'm not playing what I just played. No. And I guess this is the one where he's like, okay. Oh. This is where... Where she's telling him that she didn't hit on him. She was just being friendly. If you were single, I would not say no. Uh, need money. So, yeah, I know. I did, I did play this one. That's fine, folks. They all kind of look the same when it's down a line of messages. find a good. Oh, this is where he's saying find a good Christian male. Ha ha. On a Christian waiting dating site. Ha. Find a good Christian man, um, because I do believe I I'm pretty sure you're a believer. That's as how I, I understand it. So go to church, Ashley. You know, um, keep your eyes out for guys that act like Christians, and then go. Hey, are you Christian? You know. And you know what the funniest thing is. <clears throat> That she didn't want to, Red was like, hey, we can't talk alone anymore, <laughs> but I still want your money. And he's like, okay, but uh, can you still join the, uh, the lives? Like, oh yeah, that's fine, because how else am I going to get your money? Like, I swear, this guy, it's, it's all about, it's all about money for him. You know, he doesn't care about anyone personally. You know, besides Shani, and even that's iffy. You want to go get a coffee or some shit like that, you know? Um, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're a pretty girl, you're going to find that. So no problem, all right? Um, so that's about it for now. Um, but thank you so much for uh, everything, and God bless you. Thank you so much for your money, but uh, uh, Shani's going to beat me. I can't have... You like being better looking than Shani at all because all in all, find a good Christian. Uh oh, and here's Scammy. Here's big, big Scammy coming in, coming in to attack. It's all good. We're fine. I'm gonna make a quick video. And again, I guess we, you never know if it's Shani or Rev talking. But. You know, everyone's just got to remember, they don't pay a single bill. Rent, 
mortgage, electric, gas, nothing. Water bill, sewer bill, they don't pay a single bill. They don't have to pay for the food because they always have the uncle to, to help them out. And there's food pantries. And even, and they also get EBT. A lot less because they don't have two uh, growing boys on, on, on the card. But they still get EBT nonetheless. So between the uncle, EBT, and food pantries, what the hell do they need money for? You know, if you if you're poor and you don't have uh, spending cash, then you then you don't have it. It really is that simple. And I feel like most of this stuff was, you know, I mean, definitely those cigarettes that Rev smokes, and I'm sure uh, Shani smokes, and the um, and uh, I guess the Delta Eight that they've been smoking, which again, I, I don't know why they would. They've been they've done stuff like ass backwards. I would have just stayed in Pennsylvania if I was Shani. Got the medical marijuana card, put about thirty grand into that house, fixed it up, and she stood and she could have still been there, in a decent house, bought and paid for, just paying the taxes, mortgage paid, house fixed up nicely, you know, buy, find a contractor, put like thirty to fifty grand into it, got married. This is normal stuff. Running away to Colorado to go get it high as a kite because hey, it's legal there. Only to come back was stupid. It's such a waste of resources and money money and time. And not only that, the amount of stuff that they had to leave behind. I mean, you guys seen the videos when they showed that, well, they, they had the house and they had that apartment. But all, both times, they had to leave stuff behind. Stuff they, they literally could have sold and gotten a decent amount of money. Because at one point, Rev had all those... Uh, Sega games and the Neo Geo and stuff. And that stuff, even back then, was worth a lot of money. It's even worth a lot more now. They could have sold that just to leave it. I don't get that. Maybe Rev thought that uh, if they left all that behind, then the, uh, the, uh, the building manager or whatever would uh, be lenient on them on the thousands of dollars he owed for rent. Um, I don't hate you. At all. I understand what you're going through and I understand you're lonely and I don't blame you for liking my husband, but um No hey Trash Panda. I love him. Oh, okay. So when she made all those videos being being crazy at Ashley, now you guys know it, it's all it's all BS. You know why? <laughs> One reason why. They knew that they have to be nice to somebody. Because it's all about money. Once Shani and Rev not only saw that they're not going to get no more money, but that money's going to go back, <laughs> the gloves were off. They were. And then, you you know, the mask got pulled off, and everyone got to see them for who they really are. Now, I would say this is a testament to anyone who, who would, you know, want to donate to their cause. I mean, I don't even know what to call it. Their charity. You're not going to get anything out of it. Uh, there's no reason to. They they have they have a way to feed themselves. They have a way to feed those animals. Any money that is given to them is, you know, going in their mouth. Whether it's Delta Eight or or cigarettes or whatever. Or I mean, I don't I don't know what else you can uh, get. I mean, she did. They did say something about alcohol, but maybe Rev was being facetious and talking about. You shouldn't be doing that because that's like, you know, doing that in front of an alcoholic. So I'm not too sure about that. But I, I have heard things from people in the area that Shani or Rev have bought alcohol recently. But here, let's go, let's go back to this, guys. Thank you all for being here. Please like. Uh, I appreciate it. And I hope you find a guy just like him so you can be happy. Um, But... Yeah, these people on the internet are fucking assholes, and I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, I'm hearing one now. And I'm sorry you lost your mom. Um, I still haven't gotten over the death of my parents. Um, I don't. And just to just to add to that, Shani, and again, I, I'm not gonna, you know, it, even a piece of crap like you, like I'm not gonna attack anyone for losing a parent. That that has to suck, okay? But other side of the coin, you were told 
by your mom's friend, right? The Facebook friend, the uh, basically the guy that your mom cheated on on your dad with. Yeah, I know, right? It's surprising. The fruit fall doesn't fall far from the tree. But yeah, uh, Shady's mom cheated on on her biological father and. That's when Shani kind of left for a while. She was with some other guy and then went back to her father. But this guy apparently was reaching out to Shani through Facebook saying, hey, your mom's in hospice. She's not doing well. Maybe it's time. Bite the bullet. You know, and, and this is when Shani still had some money. Where she could have just got on a plane with her. She didn't need Rev to be there. Just her and the, and the two boys. So she could say goodbye to her mom. And the boys could say goodbye to their grandma. Properly. Go to the hospice care. Say goodbye. So she was warned. She was warned months ahead of time. That your mom's in hospice care. It's around the clock care. She's not doing well. You might want to go there. And say goodbye. Or you will regret it. And you know. Uh, I think a lot of people have regrets of things and people they could have said goodbye to, but time or whatever, they just couldn't, or maybe they thought they had more time. So now I know if someone's sick, oh yeah, my ass is going to be there, but let's, uh, let's continue. I don't think I ever will. I don't think anything can fill that. Except the food. The fact that you can't say sorry to them or I love you to them or any of that. It's just, I'm yeah, just everyone knows she wished COVID on them. Both her parents. That's weird. You know? Then her dad passed away. Then her mom passed away. So, uh, you know, I'm just saying. She wished death on her parents. Really messed up. I hope that haunts her a little bit every day. Because why would you say that online? You know, that, that's not, you know, that is, oh my god, she's so edgy. I'm so sorry, hon. All right. Now to the next one. Then we'll go back to the... Yeah, Johnny, speak. Um, I don't hate you. Okay. God, thank you. I need it. God, thank you. I need it. All right, and bye bye. God, thank you. I needed a cigarette really, really, really bad. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I, again, this is where the money was going to. I mean, seriously, if you don't have it, Rev, you could have went to the store and bought a big box of, what do they call it, bugle, buglers? You know what I mean? You know, you roll your own cigarettes. That's dirt cheap, and you get like a hundred in there for like five bucks. See, that's the thing. Like, they, they beg and beg and beg and then buy brand name cigarettes. All right, I... Dude, Shani and Rev don't know how to budget. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to, like, you know, we can get cigarettes, but get the, the cheapest that you can get, you know, to, to let that stretch. All right. I'm, I'm going to really try and make this clear. And I don't, I, I thought I already did. Um, this, the, the nude shots and this stuff is not wanted, okay? <laughs> We're a monogamous couple. We're a monogamous Christian couple. So if you want... <laughs> monogamous Christian couple. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that's what he had to say on that dating site. Monogamous Christian couple looking for another monogamous Christian couple to make a disgusting throuple. I want to be friends. That's, this is what it's been to, to, as far as I was concerned. If you want to be friends, we can be friends. But if the porn, the, 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 you know, you're, you send in shots of yourself like this, if this keeps up, you're going to, we're going to have to block you. Okay. Uh -oh. Because this is, we're, we're not looking for that. Okay. We're not. I'm not looking for that. All I want is your money. What, what did you not understand? I just want your money. Your money turns me on. God, thank you. I needed. A All right, so that was that one. All right, I'm. I'm. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Also, frankly. Oh, and here's another one by the by the big shanty. This is the last one with shanty. And then, like I said, I'll go back to the video. And <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right. Deepak married couple. That's a lie too. 
no matter how many times you say you guys aren't married, because Shani, why would you be married and have your ex husband Chris's last name? Or maybe you wanted maybe you wanted uh, Rev to take uh, Chris's last name because that makes sense. I, I don't think Shani wanted to be Rev's last name because it's kind of weird. You know, I'm not gonna say the name, but we all know what it is. But here, here's the last one with Shani. You know, because of course she had a chime in and oink 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 in here. Also, frankly, this could be considered sexual harassment. <laughs> you know, since we've asked you kindly like twice not to do this and you're continuing to degrade yourself like this this is not godly behavior you really need to repent from it because all you're going to do by giving your pussy away is getting getting yourself hurt okay that's true that's very true <laughs> this is completely inappropriate what you're doing it's inappropriate well shani you should have talked to your boyfriend and told your boyfriend uh, to stop saying, hey, send my pictures here. Send it to Eat Your Beaver, please, or and all that crazy nonsense. My. Ah, oh, oh, no. There's another one. There's Shani. There's still another Shani. Awesome. My joints feel really bad, too, today. I just, I hate winter. I hate it so bad because it's just like that's the time of year where I just I quit working. <laughs> quit work? Oh, oh, you mean like your body, not like actual work? Because it's just so bad on on arthritis. But I'm I'm hoping arthritis that this bariatric surgery will have me lose significant amount of weight where it doesn't hurt as bad as it. What 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 bariatric surgery? What? What? Are you serious? Jenny, you'll never. You will never. You know why? That's a huge bitch. <laughs> yeah. You have to be under a certain weight for them to even do that. Are you kidding me? Like, we all, we joke around like 600 pounds, but like, she's got to be close. If she's not 600, she has to be close to that. And... I know from other people that I know that have done surgeries like that or the stomach stapling or the band or whatever. You have to be under a certain weight because you won't come back, you know, because they have to put you under. You know, um, same thing for, for me being diabetic. If my sugar is, you know, high, they can't put me under. You know, it, the risk is just too, you know, it's, it's too high. It does now. No, I have. All right. And I guess this one's Shani's last one. Just to finish that one up. And we'll go back to that other video. No, I haven't tr tried Parligan for, I don't know what that is. But, um, I hear you. Even in the summer, I'm in pain. Not as much in pain. Um, but winter just, it knocks me out. I'm 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 de pretty much dead for the winter, uh, but I I want I want to be able to be able to go and do things like I used to. I miss that. I miss yeah, hiking. Sure. Hiking. Um, I used to. Hi <laughs> Yo, what did she say? Hiking. Um, I used to hike. I used to be one of those people that hike five miles a day. Um, cause I, I love nature. I love seeing the mountains and, and seeing the little pretty wild flowers and the smell of the, the, uh, the woods, you know, that, that woody, like wet, wet leaves smell. I love that smell. <laughs> oh my God. So either if you're nice to them, you get projections lies stories about how sick shanny is and how she just needs just i don't know folks i am i'm gonna get all these surgeries but I, now i have arthritis let me just add that to the damn list of, of bullshit all right let's go back to this and then uh we'll look at some dms and then that'll probably be it for today uh but guys thank you all for hanging out today
it's it, it's just, it, it's it's just so fun because no matter what even when they're trying to be somewhat normal they can't be because they're not normal yeah gripping her by the waist uh, and she was that, into that stuff too that's the thing grabbing her in that special spot where he, the guy grabs his girl like constantly oh. when we're out if i'm out with shanny like my hand is behind her and like <laughs> your hand is where your hand is on a roll flap <laughs> and it's stuck that's how that's how ursula keeps you from running away it's the lower part of the back right by the butt cheek in that air area and him like that trump would grab his daughter but by that area close to him like that in public all of this <laughs> stuff to me in 2016 i knew some of it What's with the hand? I knew gestures. that really weird thing where he was on the view, and they ask him. Him and Ivanka are there, and they Ivanka. ask the question, "What do you and your daughter have in common?" And she says something like real estate or something, something like that, I think. And he goes, "Well, I was going to say sex, but," and then everybody goes laughs at it the fucking crowd laughs at it like it's fine and joy normal. bahar hits him yeah and joy bahar is like <laughs> joy bahar. an absolute freak joy bahar <laughs> is that how you say that <laughs> yeah she's right i now i knew of stuff like this but for me at that time i went well everybody's a sinner and then there's miss america Right. Oh, I love that. I love that. So, so Rev's recollection or his his excuse for why he supported a political party in 2016 was, well, everyone's a sinner, whatever. You know, I've done some stuff, you know. <laughs> and, and that's his reasoning. But, you know, as everyone else knows, like what I know, the only the only reason why Rev talks like this now is cuz that's what Shani is into. You know, and Rev here, he has no, you know, whatever he's into, like, it'll just slip out here and there, but otherwise he has to be into and support whatever Shane de supports. The pageant stuff. Uh, oh, you need a, do they know about the pageant stuff? Who knows? The story is he used to run, mostly everybody knows he, he ran beauty pageants. And this guy, since he was the purveyor of, of it, owned it, whatever, he says that he had the authority, this is on the Howard Stern radio show, Howard Stern, disgusting reprobate. Uh, he goes on and says, well, because, because I'm the guy, you know, I'm the, I'm the one that runs it. I get to go in the back with the young girls that some of them aren't even dressed, whatever. I'm there to inspect it, you know? And he actually did. And Howard goes, Howard goes, yeah, you're like a doctor, you know? You're you're there to inspect. Yeah. I love Brett's yeah. stories. Yeah, and he would literally, <laughs> this is from, from testimony of, I guess, his makeup artist or something. He would literally, like, touch their mouths and like inspect their teeth like a horse he put his finger <laughs> in their mouth he would put his fingers in their mouths so now we're talking at the end that he would he would say wipe my butt oh wait a minute sorry wrong person <laughs> talking 14 16 14 16 year old girls <laughs> now ew <laughs> oh, rev 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 i'm sorry <laughs> Let me bring him up a little bit. Talk so slow, but that just creeped me out. Look at his face when he says 14, 16 year olds. 16 year old girls. <laughs> Yo, Rev, why did the eyebrows get all excited there? <laughs> Yo, man, your eyes, like the one eye can be straight. Yo, you get that stigmatism. Of, co of course you do. Now. There's a reason we're doing this because we know some of you guys out there that listen to us are Trump supporters. If I really thought about all of this shit, because all of this happened before he ran from pre for president, I would not have voted for this guy. Not if I really thought about it and thought about the moral shit. Now, 
what I, where my head was at, because I knew about some of this stuff, not that crazy weirdness, putting your fingers in the mouths of fucking 16-year-old girls. I didn't know anything of that. But I didn't know about it until recently, too. Yeah, I did know of some of this stuff. And my explanation to anybody that would have asked me would be, we're all sinners. This is a man that turned from yeah, those ways. Yeah, that's what you used to tell me. This is a man that turned from those ways, and he has repented, and he wants to be good. And he's trying to be good. Well, what about Stormy Daniels? Yep. Because that was after. So you really need to think about and pray on and really ask Jesus Christ if this is the guy from God. Because I'm going to tell you it's negative. That's a negative. There's no way this guy is representing Jesus Christ in any way. As I sit here and smoke a cigarette. He attacks everyone he used to be As he with sits there smoke a or cigarette. Or whatever the hell that means. to him. But once they get out of just a little bit of toe out of line, let's look at Nikki Haley, for instance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you going to say? Once they get out of line, he has to get <laughs> flappy with them, like some people. She stepped a little toe out of line, being like, I, I was not at January 6th. And what did he do? A barrage of hate texts um, or exes. He Twitter. calls her bird brain, man. Like, he what does. kind of disgusting bird brain? Like, why? <laughs> Because he is who he is. He's a devil. You know, I was just thinking, do you think that Shani sets Rev up to fail? Because why? Yeah, he's supposed to be at work, and, and she's nonstop messages at him. And then he's also talking to Ashley at the same time when he's at work. So can you imagine his phone must have been going off through Instagram and Shani at the same time? No wonder why the... the the uh the guy Birking was like, hey, just just get out of here, man. Obviously, you can't turn off your phone. He's the devil, and I believe now that the pres the U.S. presidency is the seat of the man of perdition. I believe it, the presidency, and the papacy is the false prophet. It's solid in my head. Same in my mind. You have the presidents always like <laughs> photograph with the Pope. I mean, of course, because he's a world dignitary, right? Yeah, it's solid in my mind. False prophet, papacy, man of perdition, office. All different lower States. mantles and principalities. Yeah. You really, really, really have to think, is this a man that Jesus Christ loves? Well, he lied. Jesus, <laughs> when it comes to the spirit, he loves everyone. But the deeds of this man, look at them. Really look at now them. Now the big news. Yeah. Yeah, what's the big news? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You could go, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Well, you should, you should probably... You want me to give it? Yeah, there's a big problem with him that you might want to know. It, with, with who? It's nothing spiritually related at all, actually, but I don't think you want a president who's down on this shit. All right. Yeah, well, it, it turns out, it looks like, I don't know, it, this may have been the case in the, in the Obama White House. I don't know how far it goes back. But they're saying before the Biden administration, the current administration, let's say there was some extremely... Uh, not okay. Illegal. Ill I would say illegal. Drug trafficking. Prescribing. No, not drug trafficking. I guess she, she, she's jealous that she didn't get any of that. It's not considered drug trafficking. Okay. Well, Ooh. they prescribed him Be a careful, bunch Rev. of really bad drugs, like bad. Fentanyl, uh, methamphetamines, uh, cocaine derivatives, like hydrocodone, just hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of drugs this man took in one year. That sounds like Hitler too. And now the FDA and the general inspectors have caught this and now it's getting into the press. Yeah, yeah, that's Hitler Joseph Goebbels all over again. <laughs> that's Ashley messaging him. <laughs> My question to you is, do you really want to have a president that's drug, a, a drug addict? Because I don't. Gucci Trolls wins it, though. Jesus does love all. Yeah, Gucci Trolls is the, just the best, you know? She reminds me of Shani. Oh, wait. He does. He what, what he hates, and God hates, is the deeds. It's the deeds of the evil. That's that's what we're coming down here. And as a next-level Christian, you'll get that. We're not. You don't, you don't condemn a person, per se. Because they're just a vessel with a spirit in it like you. They're the same. But the deeds. Are you willing <laughs> to say the, prophet. <laughs> the things that Donald Trump has said? Okay? I don't believe him. 
All the my moral different character thing here. issue is an issue. It is. All right, are you willing to think that just going up to a woman, if you're a celebrity, if, if you're in that pool of people, do you think it's appropriate that you don't have to say shit to them? You just walk up to a woman and just grab them. And oh, yeah, I, I know. I know, Mouse. I know she's not Shani. I just, you know, for a while, a lot of people thought so because just to have somebody kiss their butt like that much and then give them big amounts of money and it's been a while either she's playing either she is a supporter or she's playing a long long game uh with these two anywhere you want to do you think that's appropriate if you're a christian and you're voting for this guy it's not it's not. And he still believes that because he said it in a deposition. Re uh, I don't know. Uh, it was probably in April of 2022 or something, I think. In the uh, uh, deposition for the E. Jean Carroll case. He, he literally repeated himself. He, he said, yeah, it's been like this for... Yo, you hear that? That's shitty smoking. <laughs> Danny, tell me you're doing something without telling me you're doing something. About a million years, I guess. That's not me. That if you're a celebrity, you can do these things. And, 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 and it doesn't matter if he's correct or not, okay? That's not the issue. Because, of course, there is, our, 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 the way our society works, stardom leads to that type of thing where women will throw themselves at you. That's true. <laughs> but, but the action of you just running in and grabbing them, no, it's not morally okay. I think everybody would say that. That's a normal human being. It's not appropriate. It's sexual assault. You think Rev is just jealous? <laughs> you see the look in his eyes? Like, he's like thinking about it. Like, just going in and just grabbing women that aren't 600 pounds and stinking and, you know, have some sort of uh, yeast growing on their flaps and some weird scar and <laughs> dab marks and weird marks on their boobs and all this other weird shit. I don't even know what the hell is that? <laughs> like,. Yeah, I'm telling you, his eyes, they're definitely the windows to the soul. They definitely say it all for me. This guy thinks sexual assault is normal. It's fine if you're a celebrity. If you're a celebrity. You really have to think <laughs> about that. As a believer, is this okay? Oh, he's repentant. No, he's not because he, the deposition was just bad. Well, uh, Corey, unless they're, uh, unless they're voting online. Not online, I'm sorry. Unless they're uh, mail-in uh, ballots. A couple of... It, it was two years ago. Okay? This guy's the same as he always was, which is a narcissistic abuser of women. That's what the man is. And was he made that by his mother, maybe? Sure, possibly. Apparently his mother was very distant. Um, and his dad was... Whoa. Uh, racist uh, and very hard on everybody around him. Let's put it that way. Yeah, right. Shane has the IQ of Monsters Biden. Monsters are made, <laughs> of course. We will always forgive the sinner because that's what Jesus Christ does. But if you know that this man's in unrepentant, he continues in the same behavior that he always has, which he has. Uh, oh, you know, Ashley, if, if you're saying that you, you know, haven't been active in eight years, I mean, I feel like that should just be <laughs> left to you. I mean, I, I don't see a reason why you would uh lie about that. But, uh, you know, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> you know, I, I can't say I know for sure, but, you know, why would someone, you know, make a statement? I have met people, a, a lot of people, actually, that that have either remained celibate or just haven't done anything in years because they have kids to take care of or other things or a parent to take care of or, you know, this and that. So, you know, I have seen that before. You have to ask yourself, is your vote going for somebody holy here? And is that even what we vote for in the country? No. But moral character matters. It does. And All she right. is an amoral character in every way. All right, here. Let me just go past this. But uh, I think I want to go into the... Uh, because uh, they're just getting... You know, they get funny, and then they get boring, and then they get funny, and then they get boring. That is just, that is just how they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we should start with the uh 
where I left off, which was Shani asking. I'm just gonna grab these real quick. Guys, just bear. Uh, bear with me a second while I just grab all these together. Yeah, I guess. So. Just one second. I'll put some mood music on while I grab the uh, uh, messages. Uh. But yeah, what I'll do is I'm gonna leave off. Uh, I'm gonna start where I left off. Which was Shady asking Ashley straight up about the, uh, you know, uh, dick pic messages. And then I guess I'll go backward or not go backwards. So I'll go from, from that point off. I think that's a good, that's a good, uh, start with that. Get them all together. I mean, cause there's stuff where it's just really people... Not, you know, not p people, uh, them, we're not really, Jenny and Rev just really not talking or not talking about really much of anything. Oh. You know, they she, he asked him, Shani needs coke. So, I'll show you guys that because, you know, fill in the blanks of that one, but no, I'm kidding. I don't think, I don't think they meant coke like that, but, you know. And I'll just say it again. For reading all these messages. And thank you, Ashley, again for giving them. But I appreciate that, everyone. Just you can thank Ashley in the chat because no matter how anyone feels about any situation, you know, she had to deal with them and she did get her money back, so but I do feel she would have kept let them have it if they would have just, you know, walked away without making a spectacle out of things. And like I think, like everyone else does, Rev used Ashley as an excuse. You know what I mean? Oh, I'll, I'll pin this on her, ha ha. Then she won't be the wiser, ha ha ha. <laughs> you know that's how that was like. You know that's how that went down. And the fact that when he came back the next day, he was so beat down with it. And not only that, but then Rev said, he said to, um, he said to, um, Ashley, or, well, not really Ashley, he said to all of us that he had to get beat down by Shanny to get, you know, like, to, because she kept on asking, like, what's going on, this and that, this and that. Right here, let's, uh, get done with this. Oop. And... Okay. And let's start with where we left. Okay. There. Okay. Here we go. Sorry about that all, but thank you all for most of you, a lot of you waiting. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and please like the video. It really helps. If I can at least get 100 likes out of this, that would be great. I try to at least get 100 likes a video or something close enough to it. So if you could just do me a favor, it's free. <laughs> I really greatly, greatly appreciate it. But even if you can't like, I still appreciate you watching. So no matter what, thank you. So let's get into this. And uh, if you guys want, I can make these a little bit bigger. If you can't see, I understand. Getting older sucks. Even I have glasses. And no, I am not going to wear them online or take a picture. Because I still feel like, uh, I got to wear glasses. I'm getting old. But anyway, where we last left off on the Shani slash Rev slash Ashley 
messages back and forth. She and he says, Does Jason want to be with you? I saw he gave you this email. He said anything? Has he sent you? Yeah. Has he? <laughs> I need to know. Did he send? <laughs> You send a dick pic? And that's what she says, to be honest, I don't know. I know he hasn't sent me any any little, little, little baby cat pics. But I have seen it on your nasty, disgusting OnlyFans. Why is it pointed? Anyway, that's weird. Uh, is that why you had him uh, put a little piercing in it? <laughs> to give you a full inch? <laughs> well, your OnlyFans stuff on Twitter, which was disgusting. I sent the stuck on e I sent pics on email. Yeah, I got the email for three weeks ago or something. It was around the time mom died. Again, condolences. And that's what Shane should have said. But I was not sent by anyone. Wrong. I know Rev thinks that. Oh, what kind of pics? Oh, hold on. I'm eating something. I'm so upset. Fucking hit me. <laughs> what color picks? I think he erased them. <laughs> but again, like, is she any more of a pig or is she more like a whale? I think he erased them. No. Oh, and that's when he asked about me, so. Okay. These are order. One second. But yeah, they were definitely uh talking. Like here's uh here's Shani speaking uh no here's Rev uh saw something and said cute with hearts all around the face and then Hey Ashley, Shani needs some coke. And I don't get paid until December nineteenth. You got a few bucks? For a Mountain Dew, ha ha, it's four bucks for a two liter. Wow, yo, you're getting, you're getting screwed for that, Rev. That four bucks. I mean, you know what? I'd be like, you're gonna have to drink the uh, three three liter Shasta Shandy for a dollar. Hope you're doing well and Jesus bless you. And Rev, Rev, just so you know, when you watch this later, this is your problem here. When you're poor, you can't have the, you know, Mountain Dew, okay? You have to get, like, the dollar store brand. You know, beggars can't be choosers, dude. I'm gonna check. I sent eight bucks, hee hee. I got more later on this week. So, okay. I said, some of these are out of order. Sorry about that. Yeah, I did not think about that. Maybe they could move after something. I think that was, like, my thought process. How old? The oh, this is when she was asking about the kids. Being like, so how old are your kids now? I mean, I like, but Shani doesn't know anything because she doesn't, she's not around her kids. Why were you guys making plans together? Me and Rev? Yeah. I wanted to meet you guys and I was sure you guys were going to join. New start. Yes, and that is what Rev said in, in that, that audio. That he wanted a new start. Because I see it, you struggle. She struggles every time she stands up. Okay. That's why I'm so upset. Oh, this is Shani. This is why I'm so upset. So I understand that. Wow. 
did not think he he seemed to uh, love you a lot. Not to sound like an a-hole, but when he talked about Norway, new star, I was thinking, okay, Shani also, but I don't know if you can fit on a plane. <laughs> I think I asked him about that. He did have two speeds for one. I even I don't know. It bothered me too. Like, oh, yo, I love that, Shani. I love you. Can't even, you, Shani. You're fat, okay, Shani. <laughs> you are of the obese variety. That is why you're having all these problems. It's not mental. It's not cancer. It's fat. That's a huge bitch. Hell yeah. It bothered me like a lot. And flying for so long, I would struggle a lot because the pain. <laughs> it's just like keeps going with that. Why would I leave my sons? Because you already did. The moment you uh, picked that boyfriend over them. Shani, you picked that piece of crap over your children. Oh, and that's. I knew nothing about it until last night. Because he said he always are with you, right? Yes, he did. He did say that, that she's right next to him. And you know what? At least Shani now knows. You know, but I'm sure she, I'm sure she knew something or suspected. But I love the fact that if any female from now on talks to Rev on the down low or at all, it's a troll op setup. I love that for you, Rev. Keep, keep living in projection. Wow, now I feel bad. I was 100% sure you and Rev trolled me about that. See? And that's, this is what I'm saying, folks. <laughs> Nobody, this is the internet. Like, for real, I, I don't know. For all I know, this is Rev's troll. You know what I mean? To make him stay relevant. You know, I can play that same game. You know, and Rev has to have an understanding that that's the way it works. You know, nobody is 100% for everybody. You know, people have their own minds and they do their own things. You can't, you don't have control over that. Like, what do you think this is? No, is it possible for him to live with this with his uncle and you in the other area of the house? Well, I think that Shani should get the hell out and Rev stay at that house. That's why I'm so upset. I totally understand that. Why did you not think? Wow, did you not think? Yeah, he seemed to love you a lot. Okay, so that's the airplane stuff. This is him denying everything, as we saw, right? As we saw. In those messages and in those videos before uh rev just got scared and ran off you know why because it's too much there's too many people asking questions and when rev can't answer the questions he'll leave the number one question i want to ask him and i hope other people do is well if 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 you're saying that this was on instagram right just instagram when you were with shani and you would never do anything alone you wouldn't be a scumbag why are you talking to Ashley when you were supposed to be work at Burger King? Why didn't you just turn your phone off? If working should be your number one priority, Rev, because you need that dollar so bad to buy Delta 8 and cigarettes and, and, and Mountain Dew and Coke for Shani, then why don't you just do what you need to do and make sure that nothing is getting you fired or in trouble? And... As we all know, Shani messages him just as much as anyone else does. He denies it. We are not sorry for a long time. I got this email. When I got his email when we worked at Burger King. That's a few weeks ago, right? She's asking. Shani says, yeah. How did you take it when he said, send me pics? Uh-oh. Rev. <laughs> Rev. You know what? Shani might get slappy tonight. Rev, you better be careful when Shani watches this. She's going to look at you. You know what's up, man. <laughs> Why stay with someone like that, Rev? Yes, that's, this is me talking through you, through the internet. Because I know you're going to listen to this later. You and Shani. Why stay with her? Shani, why stay with him? Shani, that guy hit your fucking kids. Rev, that woman took all your fucking money. You guys are awful for each other. Absolutely awful. To a point where people can just rag on you all day because you just show everything on the internet and it's not going to change. 
it, 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 it's not that we want you guys to break up, to be like, haha, we did it. Let's celebrate, folks. It's because this is awful. And this has been awful for years. So seriously, Rev and Shani, right now, I know you're watching. Look at each other. Do you really want to spend the rest of your lives like this? You can barely hold on as it is. No matter how you feel about me or anything, Rev, listen, listen to me, Rev. Rev, bro code, Rev, bro code. I know you know what I'm talking about. You know that I'm, I know I'm getting to you. I know I'm getting to you because you said, I believe Draven when he says this. I believe him because you know, why would I fucking make this up? She does not belong with you. You do not belong with her. You know, it just walk the hell away. But I'm sorry, my rant is over. But I hope they get the message. No. I was like, he has to be them trolling me. Um, so I was sure about that. No, I knew nothing about it until last night. It was weird. Projection and confession. This is after she asked why was when I Ashley asked her. I think you saw on the thing. Why was uh why do you say uh why do you say your friend Draven? And Shani says, projection and confession. But did he ever meet up with someone around you or did he talk to other women from the US? I don't know. There's evidence he did though. Ooh, and he denies it. Uh oh, Rev. <laughs> Damn, like being outside for a long time alone. I got his email. Okay, and you saw what he, she said about that. And I showed you that. And that. Oh, my ex had a match.com. This was before Tinder. Jenny says he was clicking on the links. There you go. Well, I'm looking for local hookups. Imagine Rev looking looking for local Christian hookups. Fucking gross. Uh like local hookups? That's it. Cry. Oh, come on, shit. <laughs> it sounds like Rev is just jealous of you and Draven. What is that all about? Huh? Go back to your friend. Yeah. She, he said that. So this was after that video where they blew up. They were still talking to each other. So I like that Rev said that, it, that Ashley was blocked from emails, Instagram, everything. But here we are. Or something Rev said on that live. That was weird. Yeah, I watched the video of Draven's to see what you said. This is Shani. I watched the video to see what you said. Yeah, about the interview. Because we did, I did too, where there was one where I talked to Ashley, that one where I had her on. That's nuts. Hope you're all doing well. God bless. Thanks for all the support and love. If you could donate. <laughs> see, Rev, this is where you screw up. You you lay it on way thick, you know. God bless, God Jesus be with you, and all the the the, the blessings in the world. But hey, you gotta, you know, you got some prayers for me. You know, <laughs> I need some fucking money. <laughs> if you can donate, that would be awesome. Need some gas money for my job. A bullshit. <laughs> what job? Being crazy, really nuts. I get money. Later today, so maybe 20. And again, sorry for yet how I acted, it's just how we are here. And you know what? Again, why does, why does, um, not why does, we get to see what it's like to actually talk to them. So for anyone who actually pays them money and maybe came across my channel and go, why do they get so much hate? I'm giving them money. They're trying to get their life together because you will be a victim next or you will be kicked out and targeted by them next. Oh, this person did this or that. You, you know what? You don't even have to be part of a group or a troll or anything. When Shani's done with you, when she feels like the well dried up and she ain't going to get no more prayers and money, um, then she's done with you. I didn't see Shaney's PayPal request. Really use PayPal. You got $10 now. Ha! You were the best. Thank you. Ha ha! Ha! And how are you guys? Hey, call me. Ha! Well, this was November, I guess. And so they had phone calls. So again, 
Rev, I love this. I love this for you. You were having private phone conversations. Don't sit here and act like you're so damn innocent. Shani, look, did you know about this? November. Three months ago. Halfway to four months ago. Just saying, thanks for the talk. Give Shani a huge kiss for me. And she, and, and, and she was including Shani, but Rev didn't say nothing. Like, oh yeah, of course, ha. Huh? Yeah, you saw that one. And, oh, this is her saying that her ex is a tattoo artist. So this is kind of her telling Rev about tattoos so, and stuff. Just to give everyone a rundown that they were talking about tattoos for a long time. My ex is a tattoo artist. His new girl, yeah, takes me. Oh, I got a friend, Price. Nice. Twice as nice. I'm so in pain because of my migraine. So this may actually help. I have to take medication to puke and I cry. I can't speak. Yeah, migraines do... Uh, Stuck. And then Rev says, cool. Okay, so that's up with that. And I guess we'll finish up with that video, guys. But uh, thanks for you all hanging out today. Make sure everyone likes. Uh, that just helps me out a lot. Hopefully, I can get at least 100 likes on this. But thank you all for hanging out, no matter what. I can see you. It ain't going to happen, man. My one experience was that with that was, was trying to get that restraining order on Dragnaut. And, and they said, there's no reason for it. And I tried to say something. Oh, uh, they said, I, uh, you cannot speak. And that's true. It, it, they said, ha ha. a judge like that, <laughs> you can't just speak. It's You have to pay respect to the bench, regardless of what's said. You must. You know what? I they doubt. to speak. <laughs> look at that. Look at that face. I doubt, re I doubt the judge said, ha. <laughs> I tried to speak and the judge said, ha. <laughs> like, Rev, you do that. I know, I know, I know you're watching. You do that. You make these ridiculous noises. I don't know if it's on purpose. I don't know if it's your personality or your wet brain or whatever. I don't know what the hell happened to you, but it, <laughs> do you realize you make these noises? He said, "All right, sir, you cannot speak." He said, "There's no reason for this restraining order, and this is dismissed." And be but before I could get out of that court, I said, "This country's a fucking joke," and I walked out. And then ever cannot speak. And then ever since the FBI's been outside their door. Of course. <laughs> and Trump just deliberately I mean everybody knows about two thousand eight when he had to get all his weapons taken away because he made terroristic threats to the uh White House, right? I mean and uh there's videos of that on, on the channel. Uh but yeah, Rev went on Alex Jones, who he also hates so much, and, and he did buy that five hundred dollar microphone that Alex used to use or something like that. But he talked about, you know, his friend uh, calling the police on him because he was making terroristic threats on his radio show. He's deliberately doing this. Look at the transcripts. Yeah, so Rev has a I bunch of guns. That pray. That's why if you ever watched that G-Man video months ago, when G-Man was like, Rev left a shotgun or a rifle. I didn't see what it looked like, but he was describing it. And G-Man... He didn't know what to do with it. He told Rev to pick it up. Rev refused to pick up their 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 uh, legal documents they had in a trash bag and a couple other things, but a gun was one of them. And he just brought it to the police station and said, here you go, Rev, it's, it's at the police station. You know, go pick it up. You know, because he doesn't know what the hell. I mean, really, like, he knows Rev as much as anyone of, of us do, you know? That, 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 that gun could have been used for anything. So he just figured I'll give it to the police and let them handle it about this guy. Pray for him to be removed from this equation, because if Biden is weak and he doesn't get in in 2024, this country, I am telling you, you're going to see the man of perdition shine if he wins. In all of his dark, glorious, Masonic, Antichrist glory, you're going to see this guy do horrific things. And then blood will be on your hands yeah i'm doing this because i am guilty of voting for the man once okay and i need to uh have my repentance of that completely which i now there's a word for stuff like this this is called like fear porn you know that's what i like to call it where they like to freak people out you know a lot of religious groups do it 
and you know and i am religious so i can say that but uh you know and i could say it for what it is i don't like scaring anyone there's a difference between people being prepared for things and people being scared into things because they don't you know what else can we do and this is what they like to do all the time scare people and then be like so uh with all that being said if we can just get some prayers like about 20 bucks worth of prayers that'd be great i do i repent of it because his moral character is absolutely zero and i overlooked it a lot of people overlook his character yeah what kind of man he is it's so many christians that support this guy and, and i think it's only for one reason he makes you laugh Oh my God, probably. Are you really going to be manipulated to see your fellow Americans get slaughtered by this guy? For laugh? No, and he openly says that he wants to be a dictator. He openly wants, he, he just, he's open about this shit. He's gonna, he's telling you exactly what it'll be like when he gets in. He's gonna weaponize every part of the government that he can. Me and Jason, we're gonna be dead. Oh my God. Honey. He's gonna kill us. Okay, Shane. Like I said, that's a favor. Well, yeah. That is a favor, to be released of this prison. What? <laughs> Free the spirit out and up. Out and up. Remember that when you pass away. It's out. <laughs> out and up, Shane. Remember that when I'm wiping your ass. <laughs> because he's sick of having to, like, you know, go around back, so to speak, and get between the flaps. Yo, I swear. It's like, do you think he's using a What's Eating Gilbert Grape, like, stick? <laughs> you know, a brush on it with a big long stick <laughs> and a hose out back. All right, come on. It's time to wash Maul. And then up. <laughs> okay, go for the light. Don't be going looking down here. Out and up. Remember But that. we're just doing this to warn you. Yeah. Don't put this guy back in. Don't do it. Because the nation will change fundamentally in a way that even the people that are with this guy are saying they want a dictatorship. Are you kidding me? Do you know what a dictatorship is? Apparently you don't. They do? You would choose a dictator over any Democratic president. I'd vote for Hillary over Mussolini, wouldn't you? Would you vote for Hillary over Hitler? Hillary over Hitler. I'll vote Hillary in that case. Okay? That's the truth. Just name one, like to the Christians out there who, who say they want Trump. Yeah, what is this? I mean, like, again, what does this political crap have to do with... Everything else that's been going on in their life. Well, just move just up a now bit, you have just Christians a because it's mainly very fundamentalist type Christians, which is insane. How did they get us? How did they psyop us? That's exactly what it was. They Make someone laugh and you can control them forever. They psyoped us, or us Christians, some of us, some of uh, Johnny Cleck. Not me. Not you. Shani for Christ. No, <laughs> not me. No, no. Shani, Shani is above all that. She's just, you know, her her flubber protects her. <laughs> Unplug him, brother Theo. That's you're in a trio, very good trio there. That's Thank a, you. That's a good trio right there. They saw it, said this guy is not of Christ. What's wrong with you guys? You know why I didn't vote for Donald Trump? The way he treated Rosie O'Donnell and how he talked about her body the way he did. Disgusting. He's a pig. And who she sleeps with, like that's any of his fucking business. Yeah, he's a pig. In the in the very. That's how he treats women. Yeah, he hates them. Yeah, I'd never vote for someone like that. Why are you? You don't vote, Shani. Yeah. I I think everything's been said that needs to be said. I'm pretty Thank sure. God. And we're just going to keep warning you guys because I don't like what's coming to this earth. Yeah. No. On, what, on what channel? Just to lead your I, Instagram. Basically because of me. I don't like how people have... Well, me and others. ...gotten rid of their humanity because they started listening to this man's dog shit. So they decided to repeat his same dog. Useless. Come on. It, it, it just, just look at what he's saying now. He hasn't said anything what he was gonna, what he's gonna do for the country and for the people. Not one thing. It's just him whining. Yeah, look at Rev's face. I'm telling you, Rev does not think this way. If everyone remembers that was around or watched any of the old archive videos, Rev was like, "My man, my man, Donald Trump, my man, President Ha, Donald Ha, Trump Ha." I am a card card carrying card 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 carrying Republican, and I have a Donald Trump Donald uh, A or something. What is? It? I don't even know this whole thing. Donald Trump uh, card, and and my name is on it. He would show the card. He was so proud of it. Like he would throw that around, and as soon as he had no more money, then he had to, you know, 
go with Shani's political affiliations. And like I said, my thing is, I, I hate all forms of politics. I feel like we we need a whole restructuring, personally, but I try not to go into it. So I hate to have to hear them go into politics where it's really... There is no debate here. If there was an actual debate of these two, then it'd be interesting. But it's really Rev just going along with whatever Shani tells him. Otherwise, Shani gets sloppy. ...about, look what these people are doing to me. Well, maybe you should stop breaking the law, you know? I feel Whoa. like you carry and liar liar. Whoa, look what these people are doing to me. Well, then you should stop breaking the law. Look what these people are doing to me. Well, then, Shani, you should stop lying about cancer and things that you don't have. And going online and asking for money because you're a cancer survivor or whatever the hell you're saying. That you have two children, even though you haven't seen them in over a year, you have no responsibilities. Uh, you damn near beat the crap out of Rev. And then you gaslit him up to attack your kids because Rev knew damn well he wasn't going to go at you. All Rev can do, Shani, is talk shit to you with his mouth. And you are physically abusive rev's mentally abusive or, but you are physically abusive bottom line liar where it's like stop breaking the law asshole <laughs> maybe we wouldn't get in trouble with the law if you just stay in it but he can't he has to defy that and you like it rules for thee I'm not for shinny yeah but israel israel hated the prophets they they despised the prophets and you know it's hilarious that the prophets were supposed to be their leaders that was oh they didn't they didn't want us to go and you know speak the truth they didn't want to hear the truth they wanted to live in this la la land where they could do whatever the fuck they wanted and get away with it no matter how cruel and or obscene or god like seriously what are, are, are you guys hearing this like really this is now getting good <laughs> it was like boring for like 20 minutes but like yo the hypocrisy shanny i know you're watching you're a hypocrite you're a hypocrite Listen to what your hell you're saying and just put you in this scenario. I know you're talking about Trump or whatever, but seriously, put yourself in this scenario. Just to go and, you know, speak the truth. They didn't want to hear the truth. They wanted to live in this la-la land where they could do whatever the fuck they wanted. They didn't want to hear the truth. They don't, they get mad when we speak the truth. They want to live in this fucking la-la land and do whatever the hell they wanted excellent <laughs> uh, you know like dude that's you that's you that's both of you you and rev look at rev rev knows that that's him look at his rev face oh is not us shani that's kind of hypocritical and get away with it no matter how cruel and or obscene wow and it is it doesn't matter they want to get away no matter how cruel or obscene or malignant it is they want to get away with it and rev's like yeah i want to eat my tongue hey with it <laughs> well fine you little devil go to hell oh. yeah. but but um israel was supposed to have prophet kings and uh or you could call them kings but that's not the title that would have been used their prophets were supposed to be their leadership and finally israel had proven to the creator that they were never going to listen to the prophets and listen to their leadership. So God said, you can have your king. And they got Saul. <laughs> wow. There's a lesson in that. Saul was absolutely atrocious leader. Okay. So are we going to choose Saul? Oh, yeah. I know. Trump, Betsy, she definitely would chase him around. That's the truth. A, a horrible, wretched, filled vessel. That is not good for the country. You got to pray on that. You really do. Don't vote for him. Take it from one that voted for him and now totally understands. You need you need to just look at all the stuff that, that's out there about this guy. Okay, and again with the projection of hypocrisy. Take it from a person who's living with Shani, right? You Shani Rev needs to get away from this person. Because there's a lot of nasty stuff about this woman. And videos. And channels. And archive channels. Come on, Rev. I know this is you saying that Shani's an awful, disgusting, your words, not mine. You, you said that I saw her a warp face pig, but you know, that's, that's besides the point. You know, um, but you said she's disgusting and narcissistic and that she's nuts because she believes what, what God and Jesus are thinking. 
there's stuff out about her. Uh, it's just, it's just great. Just ins insert Shani into that scenario or Shani and Rev instead of who they're talking about. And that's who they're actually talking about. And then in the aggregate go, okay, I, I can say all of this stuff, all of this trash, I could just ignore. You really shouldn't because it shows character. All right. All right. God bless you. We, we pray for you. Pray for us as we pray for you, the Remnant Church. And we got to just wait for Jesus. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> okay, Rev. <laughs> uh, yeah, Debbie, I live in, we all live in La La Land, but their La La Land is bad because, uh, you know, all that bullshit that they do. But, uh, guys, that's going to be it today. Uh, I don't know if anyone's live or going live, but you know who I like. So definitely check them out. And that's it. I will see you all on the next one. Have a good rest of your day. And thank you for coming in. And what's up, Replay Crew? And I'll see you guys really soon. Hope you had time. Hope you had fun. I definitely did. All right. I'll see you soon.